In this video, we are going to look at what you need to do in an emergency situation. Knowing what to do in a medical emergency and who to call can save lives. Call 112 or 999 in a medical emergency when someone is seriously ill or injured. Call the emergency services by dialing 112 or 999 from a mobile or fixed phone line free of charge. 112 also works in any EU country and from any phone free of charge. If you're deaf, have a hearing impairment or a speech disorder, you should register for SMS 112. This service will allow you to text 112 in the event of an emergency. What happens when you call 112 or 999? Once you're connected to an emergency service operator, they will direct the call to the appropriate emergency service. This could be the ambulance, the guardie, the fire brigade, or the coast guard. Once connected to the National Ambulance Service, you will need to know the phone number you are calling from so that if you get disconnected, they can call you back, the address or the location of where you are, your air code if possible, and what has happened. Please note that once the ambulance service has your location, they will send a resource to you. Although the emergency call taker will continue to ask you questions, this does not delay the resource getting to you. The emergency call taker will ask you further questions about the patient and their condition. They may give you instructions over the phone to help the patient. Please listen carefully to their instructions. Tell them if the patient's condition changes in any way. The emergency call taker will stay on the line as long as possible. There are a few things you can do to help the ambulance service. Stay calm. If you're in the street, stay with the patient until help arrives. Call the ambulance service back if the patient's condition changes. Call the ambulance service back if your location changes. If you're calling from home or work, ask someone to open the door and direct the paramedics to where they are needed. Lock away family pets. Write down the patient's GP details and collect any medication they are taking. If you can, tell the paramedics about any allergies the patient has. If it's not a life-threatening emergency and urgent medical attention isn't needed, consider other options before calling 112 or 999. Consider visiting or calling your GP or out-of-hours doctor, going to your local injury unit, making your own way to your local emergency department. Remember, arriving in an ambulance doesn't mean you'll be seen any quicker. Self-care at home, talking to a pharmacist. Choosing the best service for your needs will ensure the ambulance service can respond to people who need the help the most.